Excuse me, sir. <laughs> sir? Bit formal, innit, mate? What's up? Light out on the truck or something? We've got reason to believe that you may be driving under the influence of alcohol. Are you serious? Not a drink all day. I can smell it on you. It's on my shirt. Come on, mate, you know me. Have you had a drink in the last 24 hours? What, last night, yeah? What sort of time? I don't know. 12.30 latest. I'm going to have to ask for a specimen of your breath. What? It was hours ago. Do you honestly think I'd go out in the truck if I knew I was over the limit? You could just blow into this me, please, uh. sir. You've been breathalyzed. I told you not to go. I'm absolutely fine. Don't know what's going on here. It's like I'm half cut. It's crazy. You are under the limit. But there is a trace of alcohol. Oh, a trace? Oh, well, lock me up, throw away the key. There's nothing to laugh about. You were drinking at gone midnight, and who knows what time you got to bed. Which means not only did you have alcohol in your system, but you were driving tired as well. I drove perfectly well. You took the corner wide. I saw you. Now, what would have happened if this breakdown call came in at 8.30? This reading could have been very different then. Yeah, well, it wasn't. This time? You just need to be a lot more careful in future, all right? Ah, uh, nice one. Who do you think he is, him laying the law down like that? He's a policeman. Kind of goes with the territory. You know what I mean. Look, I'm not going to preach to you, but it's not a good look for the garage. You getting out the wagon and getting a breath test. Well, it wasn't my fault. It was like he was waiting for me or something. I'm sure he's got better things to be doing. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what? This has got nothing to do with the way I was driving or the smell on my shirt. Someone's tipped him off. Don't be soft. They'd do something like that. Well, I can't say for sure, but I can make a pretty good guess. <laughs> 